Okay, I'm going to use something different this time to schedule our conferences that I'm hoping will work. So where we start at is in the email that I'm going to be sending you that will look something like this. It'll tell you that I've invited you to my doodle poll for Spring Conferences 2015 and ask you to follow this link. Once you click on this link, it will take you here to this site. As you see, I've included all those same directions that I normally do that tell you the date, the time, and the information on how student teacher or parent teacher conferences will work. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the schedule appears. I'm going to say show all 28 options. Um, let's say that um, I want to sign up my child. Please make sure to pay attention to the fact that you need to put your child's name instead of your name because that just helps you to organize it. So let's say that my child's name is Wendy Smith. So I'm also, I'm, I'm going to put my child's name in there and then I'm going to pick a time. Let's say that I don't think any times on the 16th will work. I'm going to choose one on the 23rd. So I'm going to say 5.30. I can't choose the times that I see over here because even though that's still open there, I see that Alex Bell's mom has that time and Tom Edison's mom has 6.45. Then I go down here and I schedule mine for 5.30 on the 23rd. Notice I also could have left not selected anything and said cannot make it, and that's how you'd indicate that you need me to schedule you a time in the morning or after school. or Anyways, we need to find an alternative time. Once I've scheduled my time, I hit save, and then my child's name will appear there. Notice it thanks me. It tells me it's been submitted. If I want to return to the poll, which is what I'm going to do right now, now I can see that there's three children signed up there, and I can see that my time, once I show all 28 options, I, once again, if you lost your time, you could go back to this link and it would show you that your time for Wendy Smith was at 5.30 on the 23rd. Um, yeah, so you can always go back to this form using, like if you forgot what your time was and you forgot to write it down, you could go back to the form just using that link. And you scroll down and you can see all the times. Let's say that Wendy Smith's mom realizes, oh, that's right, we have a soccer game that night. We're going to have to um, cancel that and schedule on Monday the 16th. So then she would just hit, once you hover over the name, that trash can appears there, or she could edit it. She could switch it, or she could have trashed it completely, but I just switched it here, and we'll say 7 o'clock on the 16th instead. Save. And now, as you can see, Wendy Smith's parents are coming in on the, at 7 o'clock on the 16th instead of on the 23rd. I think that about does it, but once again, if you forget your date or time or you need to change it, you just go back to the link I've sent you in the email. If you need me to resend it, feel free to let me know.